guys so today is going to be the first tutorial um, that is in going to be my sort of series I decided to um, do some TV and film inspired actors and actresses makeup okay so the first one that I'm going to do today is um, Erin Carplot so this is her look And I kind of looked at it and thought it's kind of a, uh, what I call a muted red lip because it's kind of sort of got that red hint to it, but it's more of like a purpley undertone. So I'm going to do that and then she's just got a very simple eye look with belly, it looks like she's barely got any makeup on, um, just a beige wash all over the lid and then a bit of um, a colour in the crease. So um, I'm going to do that look today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my um, foundation first. I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection foundation. And this is in the colour 100, I think. It doesn't have a colour on it. So I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be using my Natural Collection Concealer. And this is in um, Fair. I don't know. Oh, sorry, that's rubbed off. Um, but this was in Fair. I've been using this for ages. And then my setting powder, I'm going to be using the Natural Collection um, Loose Powder in Neutral Translucent. So I'm going to be using those and my QVC foundation brush, which just looks like this. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've got all my foundation on and my concealer and everything. Um, I've just put um, foundation in my problem areas just because it's summer and I don't really like wearing a full face of makeup in the summer. So my problem areas are um, just on my cheeks, the bottom of my cheeks. I get like really bad sort of discoloration. So I've just put some there and on my nose because my nose is a bit uh, at the moment. So um, I'm going to start on the eyes. For the eyes I'm going to be using my... BH Cosmetics 88 Colour Tropical Matte Palette and I'm going to be taking this colour right here and this colour is kind of like, um, it's almost like a skin tone colour but it's slightly more beige so I'm going to be taking that colour I'm also going to be taking this colour here and this is kind of like an orange but it's kind of like a not not super bright orange it's kind of like a bronzy color so that's kind of like a bronzy sort of brownie color and then um i'm just going to be she has got quite a strong um brow highlight so i'm just going to be taking the very 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 top corner um color which is just like practically a white um just to highlight the brown bone and inner corner okay so I know you should use a primer, but I currently don't have a primer. So I use my Natural Collection um, concealer, and this is in Fair, the one I used to do my concealing with. And I just put a tiny bit on my eyes, on each eye. And then I sort of just like let my eyelids go back to normal so it sort of smudges a bit. And then I just rub this in with my finger. that just provides base for the eyeshadows to stick to. So the first colour I'm going to be taking, the light beige colour, I'm going to be taking on this um, flat shader brush and this is a Graham Johnson brush. So I'm going to be taking that um, light beige colour that I showed you, this one here, and I'm going to get this on my flat shader brush and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. So as you can see it gives a really nice beigey wash and it suits Erin's look really well. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eyeshadow blend and contour brush and this is from number 7 and it's just a fluffy blending brush. I'm going to get this orange colour here. I'm just going to get a tiny, tiny bit because although she, you can tell that she's got definition, you can't really tell sort of too strong. So I'm just going to um, put this in the crease. And that is pretty much the eyeshadow done. That is just all the colour that I'm going to apply. And now I'm going to take the top white, which I showed you at the beginning. This one is just a matte white. And I'm just going to take this on the same flat shade brush as I use for the beige. And I'm just going to apply this on just underneath the brown bow because she does have quite a strong highlight and then I'm also going to get a bit and put it in the inner corners So that is the eye makeup done, now I'm going to move on to lips. Okay, so for lips and cheeks I'm going to be using um, this product and this is from Peruna and it's just this little box and it's, I think it's called the Pink Shimmer Box. It says, it says on the back here, this is where I'm reading from. It says, this ideal, the ideal palette tailor-made for the makeup lover. This palette features 18 eyeshadows, 12 lip colours, a fluttering bronzer and 3 complexion enhancing cheek colours. So, this is the top. And like it said, it has 18 eyeshadows. These small ones are the eyeshadows. These three are blushes. And I, to be honest, I use this one as a highlight. And then underneath the bit I'm going to be using is the lip colours and the bronzer at the end and I know it's a bit messy sorry um so the lip colour that I'm going to be taking is this one right in the corner and I'm sorry I can't tell you shades and things but because this is an inner palette I can't like tell you what shade it is or anything but it's kind of like it's almost like a browny plummy red so I'm just taking this on the little lip brush that lip lip brush that it comes on. And I'm going to get quite a lot and just apply it all over my lips. So as you can see, it provides like a sort of muted red, plummy sort of glossy colour. And that is the only thing that I'm going to do for the lips. And then for the cheeks, I'm going to take my Graham Johnson brush, blush brush. And it's just like a small fluffy brush. And I'm going to take it, the top, this colour in the palette. And it's kind of like a peachy colour. Because in the picture I saw that she didn't really have much colour. But the colour she did have was kind of like a peachy glow. So I'm just going to take this colour here. And I'm going to tap off quite a lot of the excess because I don't want it too strong. And then I'm just going to smile and I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks. So as you can see it doesn't really provide much colour but it just provides a sort of peachy glow and if you want I'm going to take a tiny tiny bit of this red, well pink, and just apply that as well. Just so it provides sort of more of a glow. Um, and yeah that is pretty much the look completed. 
if you would like to see any um, celebrity looks then post a comment down below and I'll do them. I really like this look, I probably would wear it out so yeah I'll see you all again soon, bye!